strangulation curve and reaction of degeneration test. Reaction of degeneration describes the failure of the muscle to contract when stimulated by tetanizing current, which may be an interrupted current or a rapid sinusoidal current. It is generally of 1 millisecond pulse duration. RD test is considered as positive when muscle is denervated, while it is considered as negative when muscle is innovated. Muscle is first stimulated by interrupted galvanic current followed by surge faradic current. If muscle responds to both of the stimulus of the current, then muscle is innovated and RD test is considered as negative. If muscle doesn't respond to surge faradic current but responds to interrupted galvanic current, then it is considered that RD test is positive. Apparatus required for RD test includes electrical stimulator, inactive electrode, pen electrode, water bowl, gel, and straps. Placement of inactive electrode for various nerve. For radial nerve. For ulnar nerve. For median nerve. For common peroneal nerve. For tibial nerve. RD test for common peroneal nerve. First, for tibialis anterior, set the machine to IG mode and pulse duration 300 milliseconds and increase the intensity gradually until minimal muscle contraction is visible. Now reduce the intensity to zero and switch to SF mode and pulse duration 0.3 milliseconds. Now increase the intensity gradually until minimal muscle contraction is visible. Now reduce the intensity to zero. For peroneus longus, set to IG mode and pulse duration 300 millisecond and increase intensity gradually until minimal muscle contraction is visible. Now reduce the intensity to zero and switch to SF mode and pulse duration 0.3 millisecond. Now increase the current gradually until minimal muscle contraction is visible. Now reduce the intensity to zero. For peroneus brevis, muscle response to Ig, muscle response to SF. For extension digitorum longus, muscle response to Ig, muscle response to SF current. For extensor digitorum brevis, muscle response to Ig, Muscle response to SF. For extensor hallucis longus, muscle response to IG. Muscle response to SF. RD test can reveal following types of result. First, Partial reaction of degeneration. When there is a partial lesion of motor unit due to either trauma or disease or any other factor, there will be an obvious diminution in the contractor response when a tetanizing current is applied to such a muscle. This response is called partial reaction of degeneration. Prognosis is good if with time, partial reaction of degeneration is less apparent. Next is complete reaction of degeneration. If the lesion totally obstructs the activity of the motor unit, there will be no response when a tetanizing current is applied to the affected muscles. In this condition, muscle will be most effectively stimulated by slow rising short tooth or triangular pulses or long duration of rectangular pulses. Last is absolute reaction of degeneration. When innovation with marked degeneration has been present for over a year, muscle atrophy with replacement of muscle fibers by fibrous tissue takes place and there will be no response to any electrical stimulus. This is termed as absolute reaction of degeneration. 
It is indicated when no renovation is suspected and needs to be confirmed. Interpretation Muscle response to both Ig and SF is visible for all the muscles supplied by common peroneal nerve. Therefore, RD test for common peroneal nerve is negative. Strength duration curve is also known as intensity and time curve. SD curve plotting is done to know whether the stimulated muscle is innovated, denovated, or partially innovated. Plotting of SD curve graph gives us six parameters morphology of graph, Leo base, chronexy, pulse ratio, rise time, utilization time. This information aids in concluding whether the muscle is innovated, denovated, or partially innovated. Apparatus required for SD curve procedure includes electrical stimulator, inactive electrode, pan electrode, water bowl, gel, and straps. SD curve procedure for tibial is anterior. Set the machine to IG mode and pulse duration to 300 milliseconds and increase the intensity gradually until minimal muscle contraction is visible. Now reduce pulse duration to 100 milliseconds. Now reduce it to 30 milliseconds. Now reduce it to 10 millisecond. Now reduce it to 3 millisecond. Now reduce pulse duration to 1 millisecond and increase the intensity until muscle contraction is revisible. Now reduce pulse duration to 0.3 millisecond and increase intensity until muscle contraction is revisible. Now reduce pulse duration to 0.1 millisecond and increase intensity until muscle contraction is revisible. Now reduce pulse duration to 0.03 millisecond and increase intensity until muscle contraction is revisible. Now reduce pulse duration to 0 0.01 millisecond. and increase the intensity until muscle contraction is revisible. There is another method wherein instead of decreasing pulse duration successively, muscle contraction at each pulse duration is checked individually. First, at 300 milliseconds, intensity is gradually increased until muscle response is obtained. Then intensity is reduced to zero and same procedure is followed until test is done at 0 0.01 millisecond. Plotting of SD curve graph for tibial is anterior. After noting down the intensity, we will plot SD curve graph for tibial is anterior. At 300 millisecond, we get a response at 15 milliampere. At 100 millisecond, at 30 millisecond, at 10 millisecond, at 3 millisecond, we get a response at 15 milliampere. At 1 millisecond, we get response at 16 milliampere. At 0.3 millisecond, we get response at 17 milliampere. At 0.1 millisecond, we get response at 20 milliampere. At 0.03 millisecond, we get response at 26 milliampere. At 0.01 millisecond, we get response at 27 milliampere. Now we will connect the point and draw a line and the graph of SD curve for tibialis anterior is plotted. Parameters that can be obtained from SD curve graph are graph of normally innovated muscle is of straight line parallel to x-axis rising for the last few pulse duration. 
same strength of stimulus is required to produce the response with all impulses of longer duration. Shorter duration requires increase in amplitude. It is a complete curve with the response seen to all pulse duration. In the graph of the completely denervated muscle, the curve rises steeply and it is shifted towards the right side. It is an incomplete curve. Increase in intensity of current is required for successively decreasing pulse duration. To very short pulse duration, there is no response. The graph of partially innervated muscle indicates some fibers are degenerated while some are intact. In this case, to longer pulse duration, both denervated and innervated muscle fiber responds with low intensity. To shorter pulse duration, denervated fibers respond rest rapidly. To very short pulse duration, few innervated fiber responds to higher intensity, but denervated muscle fiber doesn't respond. So, there is king seen where two parts meet. Therefore, right hand part of curve is similar to denervated muscle and left hand part is similar to innervated muscle. The shape of curve indicates proportion of denervation. Zero base is the minimum intensity of current required to produce a threshold motor response to an infinitely long pulse duration. For innervated muscle, it is between 2 to 18 milliampere or between 3 to 40 watts. For denervated muscle, it is lower than normal. In this case, Rio base is 15 milliampere at 300 millisecond pulse duration. Chronic C is the pulse duration necessary to obtain a threshold response using a pulse with intensity twice the rear base intensity. For innervated muscle, it is approximately less than 1 millisecond for constant current stimulator and for constant voltage stimulator, it is approximately less than 0.1 millisecond. For innervated muscle, it is more than 10 millisecond for both constant current and constant voltage stimulator. In this case, chronic Z at 30 milliampere is less than 0.01 millisecond pulse duration. Pulse ratio is the ratio of intensity of current required to produce a minimum contraction at 1 millisecond to the intensity of current required to produce a minimum contraction at 100 millisecond. In normal innovation, it is less than 2.2, while in complete denervation, it is more than 2.5. In this case, pulse ratio is 1.067. Rise time is the pulse duration at which one needs to increase the intensity of current more than the rear base intensity. It is approximately around 1 millisecond for constant current stimulator and for constant voltage stimulator, it is approximately around 0.1 millisecond. In innervated muscle, it is usually 30 or 100 millisecond. It is late in normal innovation and early with denervation. In this case, rise time is at 1 millisecond pulse duration. Utilization time is the shortest pulse duration at which you get a minimal stimulation with intensity of current equal to rear base current. It is approximately around 0.3 millisecond or 3 millisecond. It is more than 100 millisecond in denervated muscle. In this case, utilization time is at 3 millisecond pulse duration. SD curve graph of tibialis anterior is slow rising and parallel to X axis, which indicates that tibialis anterior is completely innervated. Reference.